Never in a million years did I think I was going to be moving back to campus in the middle of a global pandemic. Never in a million years did I think I was going to be a resident assistant for three years in a row. But here we are, packing my clothes, zipping up my suitcases, losing sleep because I waited until the last minute. Okay, okay, I definitely saw that part coming. This is my senior year. Not why I imagined, yet I'm grateful. Grateful to still graduate on time after changing my major halfway through my junior year. Grateful to even have access to a computer where I can continue my education. Grateful for my mom for equipping me with so much Germex and cleaning supplies. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Grateful for my dad for helping me move into my dorm. Thanks, dad. I couldn't move my mini fridge without you. And most importantly, grateful for God who has been with me every step of the way. Thanks, God. So welcome to your senior year, Jasmine. And welcome, beautiful child of God, to my last ever college move-in day vlog. Enjoy. Oh snap! What's up, classic crew? How you been and how you do? Welcome to my YouTube. I'm excited to spend this time with you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, beautiful child of God, it's Jasmine, and welcome to my channel, Stay Classy by Jazzy. I'm seeing this intro really quick because it's kind of really humid and hot outside, and I have a lot of packing to do in my at my dad's car and my own car. But I want to welcome you personally to my last ever <laughs> so weird i'm also a lot of breath college vlog it's extremely weird especially under the circumstances that we're under but i just thought i would document just for the sake of being able to document my last time yeah it's hot here in the south as always but sit back relax and enjoy as i take you along with me as i move into my dorm This right here is the real deal and it smells good too. This is what the room looks like before. The bed, I have a sofa over here and then my wardrobe which actually over here, my bed was on the other side, we moved it. My desk was over here too, we moved it. This is what we're currently working with, but now we're trying to make space. about almost an hour and a half ago that's when I got here my moving time was like 2 p.m. so we're doing really good on time but I totally forgot to film what my room like looked like before I kind of showed you what it looked like in the midst of moving but let me give you an update on what it looks like right now so starting over here I kind of have had my fridge and microwave like this for the past two years and so it's going strong for a third year and then I have my trash ca trash cag trash can right here um, I have my desk and my like dresser together. I like the way it looks. It makes it look longer. Um, I'm not sure how where exactly I'm gonna keep everything because there's such a big gap here, and there's also a big gap here. Um, it might be like storage, or maybe I might buy like a big floor lamp and put it here, so then I can read and all that good stuff. Not sure, but I got this couch for free actually. A resident left it and I already was like, hey, does anybody want it? And I just so happened to say yes first, which is kind of cool. And it actually looks a lot better than I thought in picture. It's a little low to the ground, but I'm also kind of short. So we just cleaned that really well because we don't know who used it and what they did with it. Right now we're gonna keep it. I'm not sure if I like it right there. Part of me wants to like move my this over here so it fills up the wall more and then move the couch to this side. But I like how the couch is right there because the window's right here and so the sunlight will hit it, that kind of thing. But we'll see. I have a little, it's all taped up, but a little three drawer organizer right here that I've 
like to use put my phone on at night while it charges and there's like an outlet right here behind it which is really convenient and then I moved my bed over here on this side of the wall originally it was on this wall but as you can see there's a column right here so it would have been like a really big gap from my head and the wall which is kind of weird so that's why I have a bed over here less of a gap this is where I put storage so I'm about to hang up these little bed curtains that way no one can see the storage underneath so it looks nice and neat the wardrobe we came in was right here and I forgot to say but the desk was over here wardrobe right here like I said desk is over here now dresser was right here wardrobe is now over here so I've always liked it right there I think it just fits really well flows well with the room my white shelving if you saw my dorm room tour from last year I had it on this wall over here not sure if I want to keep it there or keep it here I kind of like it here to be honest but then I don't know what to do with this wall over here so any suggestions please let me know right now I guess I'll let you know I bought these poster boards right here there's three of them and I was going to do like a little abstract art and then tape it up on the wall so almost like wall art right here but then I don't know what to do right here so we'll figure it out so I have all my clothes in these two suitcases I have my blankets um, more decoration stuff this is for the mat outside the bathroom situation I just have a lot to do in terms of the bathroom um, I need to clean out Ooh, it's very strong in here. <laughs> um, I need to clean out the drawers and make sure to wipe it out and then put all my stuff in there. And then my mirror is over here. I have this big space right here. I usually put a chair, but I didn't bring my chair this year. So essentially, I just brought the necessities that's going to get me through for the week. And then if I, and because I'm in-state, um, because I go to college in-state, it doesn't take long for my parents to come and bring me something if I like need some several things at home that I left. But my goal right now is to get everything organized, cleaned first, then organized. We have a whole arsenal of cleaning supplies. We have the sanitation spray. <laughs> and then I have like two boxes. So there's some cleaning supplies there. There's another big <laughs> box of cleaning supplies, lots of Germex. More clean supplies in here. So, so I'm going to do the bathroom last because it smells very strongly of chemicals <laughs> it's cleaning but it smells like chemicals so I'm gonna let it air out and so I'm gonna continue with my bed and then I'm gonna start unloading stuff like putting stuff in my snack drawer up here all my clothes all that good stuff okay so for those who don't know I'm a resident assistant this is my third year being an RA and RAs actually get a chance to move in just a little bit earlier than our residents so we can prepare the hall for them. Normally we do RA training which is about a week or so before moving weekend when residents move in where we do training and where we um, get the building ready but because of everything with the pandemic and everything we have to delay the time we move in so now we have RA training at the same time that we have classes so I'm moving on a Monday I had class this morning luckily I only have one class a day so I'm not stressing about that but for the rest of the week I do have like heavier classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays so I'm quite not concerned but a little like overwhelmed with the fact that how I'm gonna manage getting my homework done with us ending training later in the evening but with God all things are possible yeah so I actually is 3 30 we have we're meeting up to start training tonight at five we're having dinner together um socially distance of course with our mask well not eating with our mask but you know what I mean and then I won't be back into my room until around like 8 30 and 9 so I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done organized and then whatever I don't get done tonight I'll just spread it across the next couple of days but I'm talking really bad because I want to get some things done and also I'm kind of hungry so yeah because I actually need to freshen up like really quick before I meet with the rest of the staff but this is what the room is looking like I have things pretty much organized to somewhat degree I have my little warmer I don't know what you call it warmer hat I'm not sure inside the microwave I have my avocado up here I have some stuff in the fridge it's still pretty barren but as I continue to live here longer it'll be full my snack drawer slash food drawer is full which is good I put a pillow on the couch it's a very small pillow compared to the couch. It's not going to work. It looks like it doesn't work, but I'm going to stick with it for now. 
Um, I have my three trays that I took the tape off of. I actually made my bed. I really wanted to make my bed before I left. That way I can kind of feel like I'm coming back to some type of a room. And then I hid my storage under here. Makes it look nice, a lot neater. I put the hangers up in the wardrobe and then I have some shoes. This is all my clothes though, so I'm not, I'm not gonna pack that tonight. The bathroom's kind of set up to some degree. I have some stuff in here. I just haven't unpacked it fully. I have some cleaning supplies all down here. I went ahead and put my towels away. Just trying to do some damage control. Shower curtains up. And then I have some towels. I'm probably gonna take a shower tonight just because moving so sweaty and I have my laundry basket. But that is it. All right, we look a little rough now because it's been raining. My hair is poofy. <laughs> but I just want to end the vlog. I just got back from the first day of RA training. It's like 9, 18, almost 9, 19, something like that. Almost 9, 20 p.m. And I still got homework to do and I'm still trying to settle in just a little bit. The room's really dark, so I want to add some lights at least like right here just to get a little cozy vibe while I do some homework for tonight. But thanks so much for joining me today as I take you along with me my last time moving into college. And I'm excited to film more vlogs for you in the future. I'll probably take a little break until I get settled in after RA training, but I'm excited to get back into like the vlog train. If you are moving back to campus, be safe. And if you are staying at home, I pray that you have motivation. I pray for safety for everyone. And that's it. Have a great rest of your week. And don't forget to stay classy, classy crew, which means cherish life and simply surprise yourself. Bye.